Hey, this is Graham and welcome back to another video. Today, uh, I'm at Athens Ford and um, I was actually here to work today, but the weather kind of decided that it didn't want that to happen. But uh, there is something very exciting sitting right in front of me um, that I figured I'd go ahead and do a little bit of a walk around uh, of for my own channel because I don't really do that very often when I'm down here. Um, actually, I don't at all. I haven't ever done a video of my own here before because I'm always here for work. I'm always making videos for these guys. Um, but this is Isaac. Hey guys, this is Isaac. He's a... Like said. I'm a sales professional here at Athens Ford. Um, and of course, Graham is an awesome camera guy. I mean, he makes wonder, wonders, I'm sorry, with uh, with videos. So definitely subscribe, like. <laughs> and, He's uh, blowing up my it. ego over here. No, I'm serious. He's great. He is great, okay? <laughs> I mean, I've come a long way if it's not, you know, thanks for, for Thanks to Graham, you know, just self-confidence and everything, making videos and whatnot. So definitely check out his channel. Cool. He's an awesome guy. I'm glad you feel that way. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and reveal this to everyone. This is the 2018 Mustang. It has finally arrived. And I have to admit that it looks a lot better in person than it has online. It's actually really, really pretty. But I guess I'll just go ahead and walk you guys around the car now. Just kind of give you a taste of it. Obviously you have the whole revised front end and everything. I think that was the most controversial part of the whole car up to this point but seeing it in person now um, I have to say that I actually really like the way that it looks um, again it'll probably still look weird in pictures and you'll just kind of have to see one on your own uh, for yourself in person to fully determine what you think of it but I think that it actually looks really good and I really really like the new headlights I know a lot of people have said that they look kind of sad in pictures, which I agree with, but in person they look as angry as they have in the past. Um, and of course you have the new hood with the heat extracts and that comes on all of the cars, EcoBoost included. Um, it's kind of a throwback to the 1967, 68 Mustang. They kind of had a hood that looked like this. Um, and I really approve of it. I quite like the vents and of course this is the track package So you have the same track package wheels, which are the same wheels that I have on my v6 um, And you have the Brembo brakes uh, You now have the Magnaride suspension and all of that um, We'll bring it around to the back so you can see the new tail lights, which look incredible um, I really do like the notches in them and the way that that all looks now. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but there you go. You can see it from that angle. It actually looks really good. And then um, you have the new diffuser down at the bottom. And of course the quad tips, which also all of the 2018 Mustangs come with, the EcoBoost and the GT have quad tips now. Uh, and this car in particular has the active exhaust, which I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a butterfly valve down, down in there that opens up if the camera would focus. There you go. And that opens up to give it that nice aggressive sound that you guys will hear here in a moment. But, um, and of course the performance package now comes with this same spoiler on all cars. Uh, but that is of course only the uh, performance package. So now we're going to move back around to the interior um, of the car. Which now has the new digital cluster which I still am not entirely sure how I feel about but I think that it's a cool uh, feature I think it's a nice update to the Mustang 
I personally would not, I mean, I wouldn't care whether or not I had it. I like the, the way that the old uh, dual dials look, but I do think that these are nice. And of course they have a whole menu system to them and everything that I believe you press the pony button here on the steering wheel to to work through. Yeah, there you go. So it brings up the different modes and everything, the track apps, the exhaust modes. It does have the four-way exhaust, like I said, the ad adjustable exhaust. So you can make it quiet or louder. Um, from what we could tell earlier, normal sport and track all sound about the same. But of course you can shut it up with the quiet mode. And of course you have your speedometer and tachometer over here. Uh, and then you have your navigation screen, big touch screen like you've had in the past with, uh, I think it's Sync 3 still. I don't know. Uh, Isaac is confirming that it is Sync yes, 3. Um, yeah, and you have the heated and cooled seats and all of that and the different dials and switches that you've had in the 2015s. And of course this is a proper stick shift. Uh, and the leather seats, which look very nice. I think they're the same. They're about, they might have a little bit of a different design uh, in the leather, but other than that, they're the same. So what we're gonna do now is let Isaac here hop in and crank it up and we're gonna check out the different exhaust modes. Let's go ahead and start with quiet and then, and then we can uh, go from there. So this is quiet. Just give it one or two little revs. Now he's going to open it up and uh, we'll hear what it really sounds like. So as you can tell, this thing sounds gnarly, and uh, and that's just the car stock. That's what it sounds like from the factory, which is just incredible. I mean, it's it's a beast. It's a true beast. Standing out here in the rain, so I can get the car in the background. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and of course, thank you to Isaac for. Yes. Helping me out with this one. Oh no, it's my pleasure, man. It's my pleasure to be in your video, so definitely it's an honor. But um I guess we're gonna wrap it up with that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, as always, like, subscribe. I hope you and hope you enjoyed this kind of first look at the 2018 Mustang. Uh, this was my first time seeing it today, so uh I guess we'll see you all next time. As always, take it easy. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,